Hello everyone, it's Xander here from Xander's Bricks. Welcome back to another video and my first ever episode where I'm trying to do something on my computer. I don't know how it's gonna go. So you guys are gonna have to let me know if you enjoy this type of video. Let me know in the comments down below, but bear with me for this episode. Today, we'll just jump straight into it. We're looking at the 49 product ideas that qualify for the second Lego review phase for Lego ideas, of course. And there's some really interesting ones, um, but I really want to talk about what I think truly has a chance and, and what I'm, I'm not so sure about. Um, so let's just dive straight into it. Of course, if you disagree with me or anything, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to have a conversation with you. Uh, first up, we've got the Big Boy Locomotive. Now, I love this project. I think it has a great chance um, just because it's so different. Let's, in fact, actually jump over to the product here. Uh, just take a look. Um... Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of this. I I can see why it would be accepted. Um, however, we've also, you know, recently, I mean, not super recently, but we have in in the, the past few years gotten the um, crocodile locomotive. So I'm, I'm a little concerned about it. I would say this one has about a 50% shot. Um, it's not the most interesting looking build, so I don't know... Um, I, I don't know. Stylistically, it's nothing crazy. The second one, I love. Uh, the Retro Arcade. I absolutely love the build of this. Uh, and, and like we looked at uh, that last one. Uh, let's let's just look quickly. There's, there's some really awesome details in this build. Um, big, big fan of this one. However, unfortunately, it's a building. And the thing with LEGO Ideas is they don't really accept buildings all that often. So if you build it, unfortunately, the creator of this one, I really don't see it making it past the review phase um but i can see this uh becoming one of those uh, bricklink ones uh, or the target ones that we had uh, that past one was made by uh last hfl yeah I, I don't even know um all right the spartan helmet i think it's cool honestly i don't want to spend too much time on it i i don't see it making it i could be wrong but i really don't see that one making it uh, and that one was by uh, Delusion Bricks. Next is the Alpha Romero, uh, yeah, Spider, yeah, by Lego Aussie Fan. I love the build. I think it's a little bit too small for a Lego Ideas project, personally. But I would love to see a bigger version of this, and I think a bigger version of this could possibly make it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't see this one being anything other than maybe a gift with purchase, which I think they've done before. Um, I believe they did that with the, uh, beach style car. Um, so maybe this could be a gift with purchase, but I, I don't see it being a full set. The Red Bull Racing F1 team. Now, something interesting about this is if I scroll down, not to spoil, um, but I, I, it shows up again. It's slightly different. Um, but again, I, I don't see the Red Bull one becoming a, a full scale set. I mean, I, maybe this one's bigger. I guess this one might be bigger. I I'm not really sure. Uh, Lucas RS. I love the build. Uh, how many pieces does it come out to? Because that I think that's ultimately what decides it. To be honest. Um. Let's see if he says it somewhere. <laughs> no. No. Um. Are you fucking blind? You can't see unless I'm blind. Like I'm down to. Oh, here it is. One thousand one hundred eighty pieces. I mean, that's a big set. So, I mean, I, I can see it possibly going. It all it ultimately depends on if uh, Red Bull is even a partner with LEGO. I'm not really sure. That's, I mean, that's a lot of companies you have to partner with for this one, just because there's so many different companies on this, which LEGO has done before with um, Speed Champions, but I'm not sure. I could see this maybe being a Speed Champion set. I don't know its odds in LEGO Ideas, but, but what do I know? The Muppet Show. I fucking love this project. Um, it's it's absolutely spectacular. Absolutely in love uh, with all the fun little details. And honestly, I think this has a great chance. I really do. Uh, with the success, hopefully, I, I, I haven't looked at the, the statistics. But with the success of the uh, LEGO CMF, actually, of the Muppets, I can totally see this becoming an official set. Hopefully with some unique minifigures, but I can totally see this becoming a LEGO Ideas project. Uh, and that's by Bulldozer. Um, Alright, the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine by Let Them Fly. 
Uh, I know I'm from Instagram. I know I supported this project and I love it. I think it's an awesome set. Um, but with the cancellation of the Scooby-Doo line, I'm not sure if this would make it. I really, I'm really not sure. Uh, I also don't think this little emblem would be included if it does become a set, but I, I really could be wrong. I would love to see this become a thing. I don't know if it's for me, but I would love to see it become a thing. I just, I just don't know that it will, to be honest. The Western River Steamboat by CTD Power. This is dope. This, this is a really awesome set. I, I haven't really looked at this one too much. But the amount of detail on this thing is spectacular. Wow. Yeah. That's 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 marvelous. I can definitely see Lego saying, yeah, yeah, I think we want that. Um, but something about Lego is they've only been really accepting one to two. And I don't remember if we've really said any of these are going to make it yet. I, honestly, besides the Muppet Show, I can't even see any of these truly making it. I can see this one possibly making it. Asterix and Oblix by Ganpat the Celt. I probably mispronounced that. This is a cool set. Um, I'm not sure what it's from. If this is from a, a show or movie, well, I might be uncultured. Um, it looks like maybe it's not. It looks like it's its own little unique thing. I, I don't have time to read all that, but it's it's a cool, cute set. I don't know that I see it becoming a Lego Ideas project, unfortunately. Unfortunately. This one is interesting, all right? I love the Shrek ideas, but in the 2023 review phase one, there is also a Shrek's Swamp. So whether that one gets accepted or denied truly de determines this one's fate. I don't think it's going to make it either way, because if they don't accept the last one then why would they accept this one and vice versa why, why would they accept the, the same one if they've already got one so i don't see it becoming a set unfortunately it's just such a, a poor timing um un unfortunately and and pedro Ruiz, uh i believe it was um oh my goodness ash and flash who made the other one and it looks phenomenal this one looks great as well but if you haven't seen the other one definitely go look at it it's an awesome build uh, for sure. Now by Lego Verwatch. Love the name. This is Venice. Very cool build. Um, but I know we've seen the fate of architectural success in ideas. And unfortunately, it just never does well. It never fares well. And I, I don't see this one being any different. Stilt House. I supported this project. And there's, there's one reason. It's fucking amazing. I love everything about this set. Um, it's it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I don't see it maybe having the base plate per se, but I can definitely see this one being successful. And there's one reason. It's super, super unique. Um, never seen anything like this in Lego. You really never have. And I've already seen people coming up with ideas for this. I absolutely am in love with this one. And I would love to see it a Lego Ideas project. Do I think it will? probably like there's a chance i don't think it has a great chance but i think it definitely could i think it will look a lot different from this if it becomes one but i think this is kind of in the range of you know the treehouse the a-frame things like that so i definitely could see this becoming a, a success then we're back to red bull again by mr b again it's the scale of this set that concerns me i don't see it becoming a lego idea set and if i feel like i'm rushing through some of these there's a reason. There's a lot of them to go through. So we're just kind of speed running through. Trojan Horse. I don't see it happening. I really don't. Especially not this look of the model. I think it's a cool model. But I just don't see a Trojan Horse coming into LEGO. Because that plays into war. And I know LEGO has a strict thing against war. Red Dwarf Sleeping Quarters by Bro3. This must be based off of a show or a movie or something. I'm not familiar with it. It's a cool looking set. But I don't think it's popular enough to become a set. The Tailspin Sea Duck Meeting Seagull by Delusion Bricks. This is a fantastic looking build. Absolutely love this. I don't know if this is based off of something, but even if it is, uh, based on the Tailspin, an animated television series in 1990. So, uh, 
I think there's there's two things about this. First off, this has a huge chance to be successful because people will love it based on what it looks like. But because it's based off of something, there's a chance that it won't be successful because LEGO will think, well, it's based off of something people don't really know. And I'm not too familiar with what this is based off of. So I'm not sure that this will make it, even though I love it. I absolutely love how this looks. Look at that plane. Phenomenal. I love the trees and everything. This, everything about this, I would buy this in a heartbeat. I would buy it in an absolute heartbeat, but I'm concerned that because it's based off of something, it won't make it. Stud Lane Book Nook. Uh, I believe this is one of those where it folds up, right? Yeah, it folds up. Look at that. That's nice and animated and everything. Um, so I think the idea is you fold it up and you put it between books. Um, the thing about it is I, I don't think it's unique enough. I, I really don't. I think it's a cool build, but again, it's, it's just, it's bland in my opinion, and I don't see this one being successful. Unfortunately, uh, Lord Squish, I don't mean to rain on your parade. The minifigure gumball machine by Goose Store. Love it. Would love to see Lego play into those larger scale, uh, real life objects. And I could definitely see this one being successful. The Greenhouse by Jared R2. It's a great model, um, and I'm, I'm a big fan. Uh, I, I can see this one being successful. I think it has a it has a chance. I don't think it has as good of a chance as some that we saw earlier, but I think this one definitely has a chance. Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Box, Dark Magician versus Blue Eyes, White Dragon. That's a long name by Zero Helix. Uh, this is a cool one. Um, I think Yu-Gi-Oh! fans would be a big fan, but it's... It's lacking something for me. It's very bland, in my opinion. I'm assuming it's supposed to hold cards. I just don't see it happening. Disney, Phineas and Ferb, Doofus Smurfs, Evil Incorporated by Inevitable Brick. I love it. I'm at, I'm a huge fan. I think the scale is actually a little bit off. Like, I would honestly like to see it bigger. Um, but I'm a big fan. I, I'm, I'm a big fan for sure. Uh, and I would absolutely love to see this become a set. Um. But here's the thing. It's Phineas and Ferb. It's a licensed theme. Um, and there could be some issues with that. But I hope I'm wrong. And I really do hope one day we at least see a Phineas and Ferb object. Hopefully Doofenshmirtz, Evil Incorporated. And I would I would be curious to see how this scales up to that of like uh, the Daily Bugle. Not sure if you guys can see it behind me, but the Daily Bugle. Taylor Swift, A Lover House by Andrew Bricks. Did I say who this was by? Oh, yeah, Inevitable Bricks. Yeah, so uh, Andrew's Bricks, Taylor Swift, Lover House. Now, there's something interesting about this. There's a few of them in here. Look at this. We got two. Oh, let's see. I'm, I'm sure there's another one. I'm pretty confident there's another one. Three. Do we have any more? Four. Another Taylor Swift one. Five. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, five of them. Here's the thing. T Swift. And we got Swifties everywhere. Let's just be honest with each other real quick. This build is incredibly boring. It's incredibly boring. It's there's nothing crazy about this that I love. Uh, I don't know that it even includes minifigures. Um, and for some reason, it's not letting me go further than this past image. But it doesn't look like it includes minifigures. And even if it is. I, I just don't I just don't see it happening. I don't see any of the Taylor Swift ones happening, to be honest. Taylor Swift is such a big icon, and I don't see her doing something like this. Next, we got the Motograph by Kong Jira. Hopefully I pronounced that right. This is cool. This is super awesome. Um, something super unique, something we've never seen in LEGO before. Um I don't know if there's a market for it. I really don't. I would love to say there is, but I'm I'm not sure. And I don't know that they're going to gamble on it. I, I just don't see it happening. All right. This Taylor Swift Lover House by Donnie Dings and Iceman999 um, has minifigures. It's a bigger scale. Um, but again, I just think it's such a boring build. And I know that the Swifties are going to come after me. But come on now. I, I just don't. I don't love it. I really don't. Disney's Phineas and Ferb, Perry the Platypus slash Agent P by Dragon Builder 22. Love this build. Um, and I also love that we include some buildable Phineas and Ferbs and, and whatnot. I think they're creepy, especially Doofus Birds, but they're they're awesome. Um, I think this is an awesome build. I really do. Oh, was this animated that I can see them all? Oh, I can. Um, I think it's a really cool build. 
I think the problem is LEGO has declined things like this in the past. For example, the um, posable stitch was declined, um, and I, I see this probably having the same same results, unfortunately, because I would love to have this. I would add this into my collection in a heartbeat. Then we've got the Flying Scotsman Liner Class, yada, 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 by Local Builder Bear one Look, it's another train, and I think there's only so many trains that LEGO wants to do in an in, in extended amount of time. I think this one honestly has a better chance than that first one we saw, but I, I don't know about it. I really don't. I think this one's cooler. I think it's got awesome colors. I would love to add this to my collection. I'm just not sure. Jumanji Game Board by Airbricks95. I absolutely fucking love this. And I can 100% see this becoming a LEGO Ideas project. I, I would love to see it become a LEGO Ideas project. And I would add this to my collection in a heartbeat because that's awesome. This is fantastic. And I hope that if LEGO does it, they actually make it slightly bigger um, and include some stickers and stuff so that maybe we could even somewhat play the Jumanji board. That would be fan-fucking-tastic. Um, but yeah, look, look at that. Opens up so cleanly. Oh my god. Inspired by the first film, of course. And yes, I can definitely see LEGO saying, yeah, we want this. Um, the only reason I could not see it happening is, again, licensing issues. But I would love to be wrong about that. And I would love to see that happen. We got the Kerbal Space Program, the Modular Ship System by Sam67C. Here's the thing. LEGO City already has a bunch of space stuff. And I know this isn't just a generic space set, but a lot of people are going to see it like that. And that's why I, I don't think LEGO Ideas is going to pick it up. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Lion's Blood. I love this. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this. And I think a lot of people would be a huge fan of this. I can see this in teachers' classrooms all over the country. Um, this would be a phenomenal build. Um, I don't know that it's for me, personally, but I love it. And I love its chances as a LEGO Ideas project. Working Lego Bicycle by Sleepy Cow. I must have looked over this last time I was coming through here. Um, this is this is really unique. Uh, something I've never, never quite seen before. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Introducing the Working Lego Bicycle. I don't know if they're going to tell us how many pieces it has right away. But, um, oh, with under a thousand pieces. So, I... I like it. I, I don't know that Lego Ideas is the place for it. I think it could be cool, um, but I think this is more of like a custom mock sort of thing. I don't know that Lego would make this into an official set, unfortunately, because it's a cool one. The Muppet Theater by Lee40. Here's the thing. I like the other one more. I think this one has a bit more of an exterior. Yeah, it does. Um, I think I still like the other one a bit more, um, unfortunately, for this project. And I, I can see the other Muppets Theater, if it gets accepted, winning over this one. I would honestly be surprised if this one wins over the other one, to be just honest. The Landscape Photographer by Lobster Thermidor. Did I say who this is? Yeah, I said who that was, who that one was by. By Lobster Thermidor. Love the name, by the way. This set is fantastic. And I can see it being accepted for a few reasons. One, very similar to the A-frame and Treehouse and stuff I was talking about. I love the scale of it. And I know I was saying, oh, like smaller cars their gift with purchase style sets this one has something around it and it it makes sense because he's a landscape photographer i honestly wouldn't be surprised if lego goes further with the build i think this one has a solid chance i don't know that it has as good of a chance of other sets then we got shit's creek the rose apple i can't even pronounce that i i think the name alone is gonna say no as uh, shit's creek uh, I don't think LEGO is going to want to engage with that, uh, unfortunately. I also think it's a pretty blocky build. I'm sure the interior looks great, um, but I I'm not sure. I, I just don't think so. I've been excited to get to this one. The Vintage Toaster by Dimex Art. I love it. Uh, just like the Gumball Machine. I think this one has a better chance than the Gumball Machine, honestly. But I absolutely love it. It does work. So, like, you push it in and it, it will switch the bread. So, you can kind of see the system here. Switch it to to be toasted um and i love that i absolutely love it uh consists of 658 pieces um which isn't too bad for a lego ideas project i love the colors i love the concept and i can see this having a pretty good odds i i would say this would be in my top five selection for this ideas uh theme 
Back to Taylor Swift with the Lover House once again. This is the best one. In my opinion, this is the best Lover House that we've seen. But again, I don't love the build. And I don't know that the licensing with Taylor Swift, this has a chance. New York Corner by Bricky Brick. Did I say that was by Water Leaper? That one, yep, yep, okay. The New York Corner, this one is a modular, I believe, correct? I believe, I believe it's modular. Um, and I don't know if any of these first few pictures are going to show me. Um, but I believe it is, I believe, yeah. So I, I, I think it is. Um, and unfortunately, I don't ever see like White Diaz accepting a modular. But I would love, absolutely love to add something like this to my city. So if it doesn't get accepted and it gets released on Rebrickable or something, I would love to buy the instructions for that one. Mr. Rogers, The Neighborhood by Brick Smithered. Brick Smithered? Yeah, sure. The problem is LEGO has done a lot of TV show-based projects at this point, and I don't think they've been doing phenomenal. Um, and I think that's why this one won't get accepted, unfortunately, because I know there's an audience for it. I don't know how big the audience is, though. Then we got Mary Poppins, Cherry Tree Lane, 60th Anniversary by Free the Kraken, and Disney Brick, 55. Love the build. Um, and I think it has a solid chance. It's a big one. So I think LEGO will probably lower its count of pieces. Um, but it's awesome. It's great. I wonder if there's been another one like this before. I almost feel like there was, but I'm not, not certain on that one. This, this is a great build. Um, I, I think it's got a solid chance, not a great chance. Then we got the Krusty Krab by Lenko. I'm going to go straight out and say it's not happening. We've had this released before by LEGO. Um, it didn't look this good, but it's been released, unfortunately. And I just don't think LEGO will do another one. I really don't, uh, unfortunately. The Lover House by RC1317. Fortunately, don't see it happening. I just don't. Snowy Morning in the Countryside by Caster Troy and Max Birch. Bridge? Sure. I love this build. Um, it's very reminiscent of uh, the Winter Village sets, which I love, but this one looks better. Again, this kind of falls into the domain of like the A-frame, which I love, and that's why I think it has a solid chance. Uh, I don't know the piece count on it. A uh, bit less than 3,000 parts. I think the pieces are going to have to get lower. I think the pieces is the only weakness. I think right now, with how many pieces there are, it wouldn't get accepted. But if you lower the pieces, I can see this getting accepted. I really can. Marine Life 2 by Brick Dangerous. I love this project. It's a lot like the insects. It's a lot like the floral stuff. It's a lot like those. Yes, I can see it getting accepted. It's very much in those domain, in that domain. I don't think the tanks would stay around it, but I could be wrong. I absolutely love these though. And I, I would love to see Lego release these. Taylor Swift. Again, I don't see it happening, especially not with all of these Taylors. Uh, I just I just don't see it happening. Chameleon by Jimmy DX. Um, or DX DK. Wow, I can't read. Um, I love it. I do like the build. I think this is another one that's like a mock that you you wouldn't necessarily sell as a set. Maybe I'm wrong. Gift with purchase style. I'm not sure. Train bookends by Jimmy DK. Wow, Jimmy's got got two sets in here. I like this one a lot more. Um, I'm not sure how many pieces we're at on this one, uh, but I think it could be, yeah, uh, 10, 1038. Uh, I think it could be accepted. I think it's got a solid chance, not as great as some of these other ones, but I think it's got a great chance. Disney's Pixar Luxo Jr. Lamp, or, or however you pronounce it. I love this. I don't think Lego will do it as an idea set just because they would love to cash in on this on their own. Um, and I, unfortunately, since they haven't done it yet, I don't know that they will. Uh, but please let me be wrong. Toby One Kenobi, love the name. Um, I would I would buy this in a heartbeat. I really would. It's amazing. It's great. Love it. Fantastic. NASA Space Launch System to the Moon and Mars by NASA Rocket Builder. It's another space one. Um, and I know we've gotten space ideas projects in the past. I don't know that this will be accepted. Just straight off the bat. Great Ball Contraption Showcase by Jazzle Kraz. I don't see it being accepted just because it's kind of uh, a mashup of a bunch of stuff. And I don't know that LEGO wants to cash into the ball contraption stuff quite yet. And if they do, I think they'll do it on their own. 
And rounding out the set, Chess Master by Caleb Miranda. I don't love it because we've gotten chess sets in the past, unfortunately. So what do we have like that? I love that their chances for it. The Marine Life. So that's one. The Snowy Morning in the Countryside. I love it. Um, let's see. Just to round it out here. Uh, the Toaster. I love its chances. Uh, the Landscape Photographer. I like its chances. I don't love its chances. Um, the Very Hungry Caterpillar. Love its chances. Love its chances. Jumanji. Love its chances. Um keep scrolling here I, I mean there's great projects in here but there's they i don't love all of their chances necessarily the stilt house i love its chances um the western river steamboat i also quite like its chances the muppet show again like its chances um and, and so overall that brings us to eight total sets that i like its chances if i had to guess maybe maybe three or four of them will get accepted in total um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I know this one was a little bit different, but I loved going through the idea sets and just kind of taking a deeper dive into my actual thoughts. And I would love to look back at this, you know, in a little while and say, man, was I right? Let's see. Um, so we'll definitely have to check and I could be wrong. Lego could decline all of these, but I'm going to be optimistic and say, uh, two or three, maybe four of them will get accepted. I would love to absolutely see so many of these but uh unfortunately i just know how lego is and, and they're not going to unfortunately accept all of them so thank you so much for joining me today uh if you enjoyed this episode let me know in the comments down below again i knew it was different but i appreciate you sticking around and joining me for this one and i'll catch you guys next time